Hello, in this short video tutorial I'm going to be talking about Walther's Law, transgressions and regressions, and how that relates to understanding what's happening with some changes that we're seeing in the geologic record. Now when we're starting to imagine this, we're going to today um, think about a beach environment, which we know very well. So when we're trying to go back and interpret these environments, we want to remember that we use our observations of modern depositional environments to make interpretations about what we're seeing in the sedimentary rock record. So we want to think about um, kind of changes that we see laterally. We know that when we go out to some places, a beach, it's complex. We see places where there are lagoons. We might have a delta coming in. And this leads to changes very locally in the sediments that are being deposited. Now, Walther's Law tells us that when we see those horizontal changes, the environment shift. Our, our planet is very, very active. Sea level rises. It retreats. Um, the environment start to migrate over time. Deltas kind of migrate back and forth. We can actually see those um, horizontal or lateral changes when we look at the vertical rock record. So we're going to start by imagining that we're going out to a beach environment. We're going to draw our beach. Okay, we have our sea level at this time this location. Now we remember that it takes a lot of energy to deposit sediment. So when we're near our shoreline where we have our active waves, we're going to see our coarser sandstones. And as we move offshore, our sediments become finer and finer. So we have some shales. Now the boundary between them, the transition zone, that represents our change in our facies. Okay, so we'll have that there. Now what we want to do is imagine that in this case, sea level is going to start to rise. It moves landward, or to the left in this case. As it starts to shift, the surface of the land is getting smaller with sea level rises, but we're going to watch that the facies start to shift landward as well. So we're going to do this by imagining that we have a new profile coming down, and sea level has risen. So we have a new profile because sediment's now getting piled on top of the other. We're going to see our sand still getting deposited on the landward side, and we're going to start to see our shales offshore and our transition between them. Now if sea level were to rise one more time, probably not the best color, I apologize for that. So there's our sea level, sands, shales, Okay, um, and so those are the changes. We've seen that sea level rise. Now the question is, what's happening when we go and we look at the rock record? Well, if we were to imagine coming through and finding the section of rock that is deposited at this location, we'll call it A, and we go and we look at it, what we see are a couple things. The bottom unit we can see here, it has an eroded base. And we're going to see that we have our coarse grain sandstone. Okay. Above that, let's see, I think I got red. Above that, we're going to start to see that the material becomes finer. Now it could be a change just from one unit to another, or if we're in the middle where it was transitioning, we might see that it's the sand and the silt. And then above that, We'll have the even finer grained material. What we see overall in this sequence as we go from the bottom to the top is that we're seeing a fining up of the sediment in the sequence. Now this can happen over and over again as we start to see these um, periods of sea level rise. Um, but again, when we're looking at that vertical rock record, we're going to try to look within it, look for that eroded base, and then as it goes through, it's going to be going from coarse to fine, and that's going to be representing that marine transgression, or an, a rise in sea level. Now we're going to take a look at what happens to the same profile during a regression. So if we want to draw the same original profile, actually, we'll draw it, but we're going to have to draw it a little bit farther in. Okay, so we'll draw it. There we go. Okay, we have our sandstones. And we have our shale. Okay. Now in time two, we're going to have sea level going down. So sea level 
is going to retreat. So the new profile that's depositing material, hope you kind of see it a little better. We're going to have our sandstone and our shale. And then if we want to retreat even more, we'll do that third layer. And then eventually more shale. Okay, so now if we want to take a section, we can see that the land surface has gotten bigger. When we go and we look at it, the sea level has migrated out towards the sea. The facies are all shifting out towards the sea. Now we're going to want to take a quick look and see what's happening in one section. Let's see. Pick this spot right here. Okay. Now when we look at the section, at the very bottom, we're going to see our fine shale. As we get above it, we might start to see, the way I've drawn it here, we have a little bit of a transition. And then at the very top, what we see is the coarser sandstone. So now when we look at this sequence, we see that it has been coarsening upwards. Okay, and so that's pretty distinct. When we start to see that the unit has gotten coarser, it means the facies have shifted towards the sea. So we're looking at a regression this time as opposed to the transgression. And so these are just some sequences that we can look for just with changes that we're seeing in the sedimentation um, that's happening um, stored in that rock record.